Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah! <laughs> We've got philosophers of the past like Pythagoras, Socrates, Plato, all of these dons used to fast. In fact, Pythagoras, you know Pythagoras yeah, the one whose theorem we had to learn in relation to triangles, you know the hypotenuse. What? Flipping it, I don't know how I got through secondary school with hypotenuse on my conscience. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> Pythagoras is not only somebody that used to fast himself before exams, but he would encourage his students to do so as well. Whilst nowadays we've got people like Pervez who tell their mother that they don't want to fast because they want to have the chocolate and the crepes. And the mum's like, Oh my son, it's okay, no problem. You can just fast for two minutes, it'll be okay. In this scenario, Pervez is a 15 year old child. And football as we know is a very intense sport which requires a lot of energy and sustenance. So fasting seems like a mission impossible. But not for these two Turkish teams. On the one hand you had Ankara, Kesoranguku, and Giresunspor. He cannot read. Pretty sure I nailed that, yeah. Zinsel noktada bir tedaviye ihtiyacı. So what I loved about this was when the adhan happened, the goalkeeper got injured. Yeah, maybe I should say got injured, and that gave an opportunity for his teammates to go off and to break their fast or open their fast with bananas, dates, and water. İftar ediyor. Keçi ören kenarda. If that's not all, at the perfect opportune time, a cat decided to come and invade the pitch. That's right, and that bought them more time. In fact, not only did it bring them more time, but it gave them some entertainment to watch as they were opening their fast as well. Subhanallah, <laughs> amazing. Were it not for the cat invading the pitch, I wouldn't have even heard of this news story. Yeah, I came across it on Reuters, but apparently it has been doing its rounds in the subcontinent. And that's why even the Islamophobic newspaper, it's like the Daily Mail of India. Even these guys uh, covered it in their story as well. So after seeing these players go through so much to obey Allah and his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during this auspicious month, it was mega inspiring. Yeah, in fact, it's very humbling and it's quite embarrassing because we make the most the most excuses. But seeing these guys exert themselves to that level and find any excuse to run off and have a date. In fact, one of the opposing team members scored a goal. And when he came off, the, his, his teammate was not only celebrating, but he was like, hey, you on a date? You open your fast? <laughs> Remarkable. I, I'm assuming that he's uh, already opened his fast. Just, just seeing this was absolutely amazing. Yet yeah, hearing the adhan during the match. May Allah bless these individuals for inspiring. I don't think they realize that their seemingly small and insignificant act is, is acting like such a boost for the rest of us. And if these guys can exert so much in the physically intensive sport that they're in, guys, I'm sure we can go shopping for our mum if she requires a few bits and bobs for our iftar. I'm sure we can stand for an extra couple of rakats in taraweeh at the end of the day. I'm sure we can make the extra effort to pray at the mosque. And I'm sure we can sacrifice the few hours of sleep so we can read the Quran and make dua, dhikr and so on. Yeah, that's the least that we can do and take away from this story. I don't want to leave you guys in the lurch. There is an app that's come out, it's called the Quran Lee app. Now what's remarkable about this app guys is it's professionally designed, it's taken on board the modern apps that are there for meditation, for calories and stuff like that which give alerts. It's, it's an interactive experience yeah but if you look at the Quran apps they're not that great. So this app is designed to be interactive, send you how, how many rewards you've accumulated, how much you've read. So it's something visual. You can set a target, you can <laughs> send it to somebody else and see how much reward you're getting from somebody else. Very interactive guys and especially for those that need that extra push to read the Quran and to feel engaged with it. So definitely download it and support the movement. Let's leave it there guys. I'll see you next time inshallah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.